the truth. Issue of uh, reforming the Nigerian Treasury education is good, but before we go into the reforming, we have to look at the major problem facing the education sector. First of all, as my colleague Sika said, if you look at from the minister, some even House of Representatives, governors, all the children are sitting outside the country. So when you come to reform the education, people that are supposed to reform it, their children are not studying in that university, they are studying in the abroad, paying them huge amount of money. That is what brings problems in our institutions. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, when you go back to the university now, there is a serious problem from the lecturers. Because you can see a brilliant student, more especially women, Beautiful women are facing serious problems in the university. Because you can see a woman very brilliant, but lecturers can easily make her to become useless. Because whenever the woman is uh, beautiful in the university and is brilliant, some lecturers are in love with her. If she didn't accept, then they will, whenever even she won the exam, they will fail her. That is one of the major problems we are facing in the university. Because lecturers are acting as some, I can see some governors are acting in Nigeria. That is how lecturers are acting in the universities. So, Mr. Speaker, seriously, when you come to reform the education sector, you have to look the strong side effect facing the, the, the education. And the, why I said the problem of lecture because I witnessed many incidents where I see some brilliant student, they wrote the exam, they pass, but because they never accept what the lecturers requested from them, they failed them. So, Mr. Speaker, seriously, we have a serious problem in our universities. And the problem of strike, too. Government are paying them their entitlement, their monthly salaries and allowances. They give them houses, these lecturers, but they are going on strike. You can see students who are supposed to graduate within four years, he can stay in the university of the six years. This thing discourages our people. That is why right from the beginning, I go for business. Because I know these people, they, are waste, they will waste my time, Mr. Speaker. So, seriously, Mr. Speaker, this thing is a serious problem facing our education. And the greatest problem I want to talk about is adding the tuition fee to the common man. When you come to my office now, you can see lists of more than 200 to my constituents looking for school fees. A common man cannot afford to pay this money. And they are increasing. And we are budgeting money. We are paying, the government are paying them. So seriously, uh, this thing I am calling to the president to make sure, as we promise free education, even we cannot give free education to, to the tertiary students, we have to give them 50% discount so that the common people will get relief. Because we are facing serious, serious problems. Because I can see many people uh, withdrawing from the university because of the school fee. And we are allocating, we are appropriating money to the education sector. So seriously, uh, Mr. Speaker, what I observe is why these people, they don't worry because their children are studying in the abroad. They have money to pay for their children. They don't care with the common people. So seriously, as the president of the masses, President Mahmoud Bari is supposed to reduce 50% discount to the tertiary uh, education uh, tuition fees. Because our common people are suffering seriously, serious suffering.
You are talking about reforming the education. You are not talking to reduce the, the money to the common people. To, to make, and we are, you are not talking about how government can make a strong uh, organization or some agency that will oversee the activities of lecturers in the university. They are frustrated students in the university. So we, we, are, we have a serious challenges when you come to reform the education, you have to go back to the university to see the activities of the lecturer's space, to see how people are suffering before they get money to pay the, the school fee. So that is why majority of the people who ever see the, what happened in the university, they are aware of what happened. That is why they are carrying their children to the abroad, because they, they know what happened in the university. So, Mr. Speaker, we should not waste our time. There is serious problems in the university. You can see a person begging, begging, begging to pay as an Algerian citizen. A school where we are allocating money from the taxpayers' money, paying the lecturers and the others, but still frustrating the common people from paying, going to school because of money. So, Mr. Speaker, seriously, uh, I'm in support of this uh, reform, but before reform, we have to go and solve this serious problem facing our students in the universities. We give, the, we, we, or if possible, we can uh, make a law in this house to protect the rights of the students in this, more especially women, that are being always facing, uh, 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 they are treating, treating them. Lecturers are treating women. More especially beautiful women in the university. So thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is my contribution.